Okay, now. Oh, now, now. Okay. Why are you waving to me? We're live. Erase okay, it. here we are live. Erase it. I can't. At the Stern Family Collection once again. Here is episode two. Today we're trying the live, Facebook Live, not so much to upload as yesterday's. Today we're focusing on a slightly different type of painting in the Stern Family Collection. This one with a little more modern twist. Oh, here's John Stern to give you the information. Hello. Today I want to look at one of our favorite paintings. Actually, they're all our favorite paintings. But this is by a woman named Ruth Peabody, who was born in 1893 and died in 1966. Uh, Ruth Peabody was the daughter of Eleanor Colburn, another artist. And the two of them uh, were trained. Uh, the mother was actually trained under William Mary Chase, uh, Eleanor Colburn, and then she in turn uh, trained Ruth Peabody. Peabody was both a painter and a sculptor. Um, by 1924, this is an interesting thing, is they were both divorced and they both moved in together on a house in Laguna Beach. It was on South Coast Highway and they both joined the Laguna Beach Art Association and were active members in it. This particular painting is one of the few abstract paintings that I've ever seen that were painted in Laguna Beach. Um, this one was done in 1937 and it was on display at the annual Laguna Beach Art Association show that year. In that same show, um, Ruth had several abstract paintings. And I wanna make a, a little bit of a difference here be between an abstract and a non-objective painting. Abstract painting can still retain visible forms, like this thing that looks like a candlestick, this thing that looks like a banana, but they're all broken and they're all put back together in, in, in a sense that doesn't really work well. Uh, Non-objective would be just, you could not recognize anything. It'd be just smears and squares and objects that, that don't exist. But this is, this is an abstract painting. And the thing about, uh, interesting thing about both the mother and the daughter, about Eleanor Coburn and Ruth Peabody, is they were both into some um, a modernist approach to uh, composition, which was called dynamic symmetry. And dynamic symmetry is a very complicated approach to composition, and I really am not that well versed in it, and most artists did not follow dynamic sym symmetry in the way it was originally described, but they used some version of it. But the point is, was to use a geometry, was to use mathematics to create an ideal composition. So typically in the works by Ruth Peabody and by her mother, Eleanor Colburn, they would set up a whole system of lines in pencil on the board or canvas before they even started painting. Then as they painted, they would apply the forms and the colors uh, with those lines. So if, if you look at this um, carefully, you see that there's lines coming this way, there's lines coming that way, then there's lines coming this way, then there's lines coming that way. And they're all um, mathematically balanced and once they had all those lines, and, and you can see there's a whole bunch of lines under here that, that would, would need to be drawn before the artist started painting. And then the, the goal again was to get the ideal composition. And they used math, they used geometry uh, to create that balance, scientific balance to an ideal composition. But th this again is a very unusual painting. It's, it's a rare painting because it is one of the few, very few abstract paintings that were painted in Laguna Beach in the 1930s. Well, thank you for those insights. And we look forward to speaking with you again very soon. We'll we be taking up another painting from the illustrious Stern Family Collection. See you soon.